Live semifinal competition is finally here. And if you didn't have a chance to catch up on any of the live streams from Europe on day number one, we got you covered with our quick recap catch up for everything that happened on day number one out in France. Tommy here with all of your highlights and I'll be bringing them to you all weekend long. We're going to start on the team competition, and if your team name had Krieger in it, you're probably going to have a good time. <laughs> Starting at the top, CrossFit Prestanda Krieger was the only team to finish all three events on Friday inside the top five. Remember, the team competition is already halfway through as it's only two days, and behind them on the leaderboard sit three different CrossFit Oslo Krieger teams inside the top eight spots that qualify to the games. Might actually need to name my firstborn Krieger after this if this trend continues, just to make sure the, the kid's successful down the line. Some top seeds and familiar names with high hopes this weekend have some work to do after event number one. All five of the top ranked men coming out of quarterfinals in Europe are currently outside the top 15. With Jonikowski and Victor Hoffer, the top two ranked men coming into this weekend will enter Saturday sitting in 34th and 30th respectively. Good news for both of them that the lowest finish from a top 10 athlete last year in Europe that qualified was 36, so no cause for alarm just yet. Latvia's Uldis Upanix may not have been the betting favorite to win the competition coming into this weekend at the French Throwdown, but you know what? He's going to be the man that every athlete on the leaderboard is chasing to start the weekend on day two and Saturday. Upanix put on a pacing masterclass in event one, hanging behind Serbia's Luka Vunjak until the fourth round when he pulled into the lead on the barbell heading into the fifth and final round. Coming in from the run, Upanix held on for the win ahead of Vunjak and both Djukic brothers, including Lazar Djukic's top time from a previous heat. He's got three Serbian men right behind him on his heels heading into Saturday. And last but not least, the moment of the day or race of the day, if you will, came in the final women's heat between Gabby Magawa and Amy Kringle. Gabby was 16 seconds behind Amy Kringle entering the fifth and final run of event one. Now, Gabby closed the gap all the way to be neck and neck alongside Kringle coming in to the stadium. Gabby outlasts Kringle on the final barbell, holding on for seven unbroken reps to start that set of 10. And it was a tremendous performance for Gabby to steal the event win from Kringle. But Kringle still holds on for a second place finish. And she now leads a trio of three women from the UK who are inside the top five after the first event. Some awesome semifinal live competition action to kick off the first day in Europe. Remember, Saturday kicks off as the final day of competition for the teams, just day two for the individuals, and both divisions will have two events apiece on Saturday as well before individuals will close things out by themselves on Sunday. For official leaderboard standings, be sure to head on over to games.crossfit.com. And for highlights as well as top results over in Asia at the Far East Throwdown. Be sure to head over to Instagram and check out our Talking Elite Fitness page.